Mike's troubles with the Russells. And uh, our third attempt for this video, we'll see how this one goes. If it don't work, I'm giving up. So we are doing a video of the actual real-time drive from Paphos Airport into Katopathos and actually to the harbour. Uh, people often ask, say, well, how long does it take and how much should a taxi cost and is there a bus service and other such questions. Well, I decided I'll take you on a real-time drive. So we're actually at the airport now. We're just leaving the main grounds. Wait for this chap to go. And then, uh, oh, so he's decided to go that way. Oh. And we're away. <sighs> So Paphos International Airport is on our left and uh, the car parking area is in. We, uh, in Cyprus you drive on the same side as the road as in the UK so keep left. Oops. The road from the airport only goes one way. So you can't actually get lost. The road only goes to the airport, that's as far as it goes. It won't take you anywhere else. So it's quarter to 12 now. It's what's known as a changeover day, so it's a Sunday. It's a busy day at the airport. Lots of flights in and out on a Sunday. Sunday and Wednesdays tend to be the big changeover days. Although, of course, there are flights every single day of the week. Yeah, on our first attempt at making this video, I mounted the uh, camera on a camera mount on the dashboard. And because of the heat, the actual uh, mount fell off and the camera went flying. So we abandoned that and then we tried again actually with as Julie's doing now holding the camera but unfortunately the camera wasn't switched on so uh, we didn't actually record anything and by the time I got to Pathlos I thought well I'm not going back to the airport again so I waited until we were near the airport and then decided oh, we'll do another video So it's about a four kilometre run from the airport to the main road. Now often if you get a sat-nav or something like of that order, if you're going into Paphos, it'll take you via the motorway. Um, that's fine if you're going into Paphos town. Um, even if you're going into Kato Paphos, it's not too bad, but I wouldn't go on the motorway. I'd stick to the actual coast road. Again, obviously they just pick the car up in front. Red number plate means it's a higher car. And they don't know where they're going. Well, not only do they not where well, there's no way for them to go actually. No. What, what they're doing is driving at under the speed limit, which is quite strange in Cyprus. I certainly don't advise people to travel over the speed limits, but sometimes the speed limits in the areas are very very low you can often see signs at 30 kilometers an hour which is I don't know, 20 miles an hour which again in built up areas is fine but often the roads are empty there's nobody about it's up to you if police here do hide and they do have speed cameras and if they catch you speeding it'll be an immediate fine if you want to go to court if you want all that trouble you can but it'll be an immediate fine my advice would be to take your punishment if you were speeding, take the fine. So as you can see as we drive down this main airport road, all the car hire companies are all lined up. So what they'll often do is they'll either leave the car at the airport for you, pick it up and drop it off at the airport, or they will bus you to their local car hire um, 
establishments where you will then pick up your car. So we're back onto the main road here now. Left takes us into Paphos and right will take you to Lemassol and even Larnaca. Signs up ahead. It's quite busy just here because it's Sunday and so we've got uh, Timmy Sunday Market on. Only appears on a Sunday. It's a local market sells fresh fruit, vegetables, clothes, Nike shoes, <laughs> tools, pretty much anything. It's very popular with the locals and the expats. But it's only on a Sunday and it's mornings. So by kind of one o'clock it will all start to disappear. Tavernas and coffee houses and bars on uh, both sides of the roads here. Speed bumps very annoying, We've got them all over. Again, fresh fruit and vegetables at the side of the road. So, this is the B road <coughs> straight from the airport, turn left. And this is the B road that will take you straight into effectively Paphos. Catapathos and Euroskipu. Again, the speed limit on here is 80 kilometres an hour. That's exactly what I'm doing. But you might find that taxis and car hire returning companies, the drivers of the car hire fleets, don't bother speaking, sticking to the speed limits flying past at breakneck speeds. Generally in Cyprus if you hire a car you'll pick it up full and you'll return it the same way full of fuel. So just outside the airport here is big shell station. It's kind of the same price everywhere fuel. So if you're returning a car full stop there on your way to the airport fill it up to the top if you don't if you fail to fill it then they will charge you a extraordinarily high amount on your credit card for the fuel that they have to put in it so for instance if you take it in with half a tank they may then charge you for 25 litres of fuel at two euros a litre so make sure you fill it up. It's about 149 at the moment for petrol, gasoline. So again, make sure you fill it up before you take the car or return the car. One or two higher companies, they actually have return the same as when you picked it up. So if it was half full when you pick it up, you return it half full. But mostly it's full to full.
boot on I will go into Euro Skipper and again I can get into Bafos that way again we've got a red number plate in front of us so they clearly don't know where they're going because they kind of pulled across in front of me a second ago Now this road that we're coming to, again I'm going to be turning right in a moment, the sea's directly in front of me. I'm going to be turning right and running parallel along the coast here into the heart of Catapathos. Speed limit is 65. That's like 40 miles an hour, 45 miles an hour. Not particularly fast. This is a new road and why they built it as a single road I don't know. If a car broke down or a bus or a coach broke down on here, then it would be a bit of a problem. You might just be able to squeeze past, but uh, not a lot of room. And of course, there is no stopping or parking on here. When we turn right, it will turn into dual carriageway. But again, the speed limit is relatively slow. Together. 
They're all in the Paphos region. Paphos area is huge. So when a hotel advertises itself as in Paphos, you need to check on a map and make sure that it is actually in Catopaphos if you want to be where everything's going on. Or for instance in Coral Bay. Where again it's busy with tourists. So here we are, these are the main strip for the hotels. Down on my left, it's just hotels all the way along and up here on the right they've got again all the hotels so generally if you're coming by coach the coaches will drive down to the bottom Firethon hotel and start dropping off as we uh, go up here we're now heading into Catapathos or it is Catapathos or touristic I don't know if that's a word touristic Sure, somebody will tell you. No, it is in my world. <laughs> if you've stayed here at any of these hotels, please comment. Tell me what you thought of it, what you liked, what you didn't like. If you've flown into Paphos Airport and done this trip, again, tell me if I've missed anything or informed you of anything you didn't know. Or talk rubbish. There will be links in the descriptions and up in the corners to some of the, the hotel walking tours, beachfront walks, etc. for these hotels. So if you'd like to have a look at those, please do so.